James Nellis with iHeartRadio. We have a special guest joining us via Zoom because 2020 and 2021, for that matter, Mr. Carl Wolf is here. <laughs> what's, what's going on, James? I'm doing well, brother. How you doing? I love the mise- I love the, the, the setting you have. I wish yeah. I was in my studio. It's a vibe. Yeah. Where are you right now? I'm somewhere in the world. It's not 2 a.m. That's why you're not in the studio. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> we got a new album out, 2 a.m. Vibes. I guess the title in itself is pretty self-explanatory, no? Absolutely. I mean, make all my music at 2 a.m. I've been doing it for forever, even during Africa Times, Carrera, Yalla Habibi. All these records were made and conceptualized at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And uh, just decided to call it 2 a.m. Vibes because most of my new followers on TikTok get to see me produce my music live on TikTok at 2 a.m. Loop that. Loop that. <laughs> yeah. I, love and I have that. to make every the title, I, by the way. Every, every time I see it, I'm like, loop that. This guy needs a merchandise. Like, you need to do t-shirts or have loop that. You know? I'm already working on it. It's coming out once, you know, everything opens up. <laughs> no doubt. Now, here's the question for you. Um, obviously, with the past 13 months, going on 14 months now, we've kind of been in the house, locked down. Was a new album part of the plan prior to the shutdown? Or was this yep. something that came out of the shutdown? Good question. Well, we were supposed to release my, my album a year and a half ago. Um, so there were completely different songs. Some of the songs made it on this album, but um, you know, once the pandemic hit, it was a whole new energy, you know, uh, all kinds of issues happening with the world, you know, people getting, you know, getting really sick, family members, you know, losing some family members, losing a lot of businesses through, through things I've heard through friends, family, et cetera. So that affected the way I wrote. Um, of course, it was, wasn't easy to just jump in and just get back into it. And I think with this album, I'm very proud of it. And it, it really um, just, you know, encompasses everything that I've been through in the past year and a half. And uh, yeah. Was it tough to, to, to find space to write and produce an album during the past 13 months? I mean, when we talk about artistry and creativity, a lot of it is based off what you experience, whether that be day-to-day life. And in your case, you know, love songs come out of love, right? Um, but being shut down for the past 13 months, essentially kind of confined to a small space, maybe a backyard, but a condo, a studio, whatever. Like, was it difficult for you to step outside the box or was it easier because you can actually kind of like fictionally create these stories? Yeah, it was really, it was a difficult one. I'll be honest that the beginning of the pandemic was really hard. I was trying to get back into the studio. You know, I have my studio in my house. So, you know, um, that wasn't the hard part. I got used to doing that, but the inspiration wasn't coming to me. You know, I think when I started uh, TikToking, and this was like six months ago and it, you know, I, I was just doing fun stuff. You know, everyone, people didn't know what to do. You know, how do we, it was the first time we're, we're going through this pandemic. Um, we're not going out as much. So what do we do? We stay at home, try to figure things out. And once I, I, I wrote um, or I produced Getaway, you know, for the first time live on TikTok, at that point, everybody just loved it. It was like there was a new Carl Wolf that was born from that. And, you know, it was a completely different sound for me, um, completely different style of, of the way that I interact with my fans. And then I just, you know, how TikTok works. Once one thing works, you just keep going at it. And I build my niche in a way. And the whole album was done based on, you know, the feedback of my TikTok followers. What is it about you producing on TikTok that made people gravitate to you to TikTok? Like, what do you think anecdotally? I I really think it's just the curtain, you know, unveiling something they've never seen before. You know, something that you've, you know, it's like seeing behind the scenes. You know, we all want to go to the, you know, to the concerts or the circus or whatever, but we want to see how the, you know, the artists get ready or whatever. And I think that was part of it. You know, what, how, how are these songs made that we always listened to back in the day? And I showed them, you know, without even questioning it, just like, yo, here's, here are my tricks. I literally had a TikTok. Um, I did a 30 minute TikTok with, with TikTok themselves, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. that's all I'm saying, TikTok. Today. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, it was sponsored by TikTok and we did a 30 minute segment where they wanted me to show all sort of my tricks and what I I used. And I totally did that. I showed them behind the scenes. We had 91,000 live listeners or viewers in it. It was crazy. Um, It was awesome. And I showed them all my tricks, how I loop. Because these are, you know, some production tricks that other people don't know, but something that I've developed throughout the years. 2AM Vibes is out now. Carl Wolf is joining us. 
Who's featured on the album? Uh, Cardinal Official, my good friend, um, Chrissy Spratt, who I met like four or five years ago at one of my concerts, and she's Lebanese as well. And my our, our dads, we just found out recently that our dads were friends in Beirut when they were kids. Oh, so wow. it's a whole thing. And then this um, Alec Pittman, he's a guy, uh, he played the sax on Before This Life Is Up. He's from the UK. He's also a TikTok duetter that duetted me on TikTok. And was, Julius Wilson. Now, was it difficult to kind of coordinate this stuff during the pandemic? Or given that the fact that the music business over the past decade and a half, two decades have kind of gone to emails anyway, it was like business as usual. Yeah, no, no, it was really difficult. I mean, usually what I would do is, let's say I would go into a studio, you know, go bigger studio, you know, multi-million dollar mics and like gear, you know? So I had to kind of do it myself, right? I had to get, record everything, which I usually do, but I do them for the demos. And what I, what I end up doing is going to the studio and, and polishing them up. And this time I couldn't do that. Um, so I had to pretty much, you know, it was a learning curve just to produce the whole thing. Remember, I, I mixed the songs, produced them, wrote them, and then, and then mastered it. So I mastered all the songs on this record. So I never got into mastering. So now I got into mastering and they sound pretty, I'm very proud of it. I'll be honest, I'm proud. Carl Wolf, 2 a.m. vibes out now. What's the first thing you're gonna do once you're allowed to leave your house, my friend? Brother, I can't wait to tour and, and perform concerts and live concerts. It was crazy. We did that last year with the drive-through. We did one drive through or drive in or whatever. Drive through, drive yeah. through McDonald's. Drive -through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there's a brand partnership. <laughs> That'll be 50 bucks. Um, no, the drive in. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I'm looking forward to touring, man. It was, you know, it's been a long time. Uh, that's what we live for, too, right? I mean, performing live, getting that, just seeing people hug each other and just put their hands up and be happy and excited. You know how it is, man, being a DJ. It, it, it's unmatched. It's that we have honestly the best jobs in the world when we can do them. And so I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait. My man, Carl Wolf, thank you so much, brother. You can catch his new album, new music streaming on the iHeartRadio app. Until we're able to do this face to face, I bid you adieu. All the best. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, prosperous 2021, my friend. God bless you, brother. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Carl Wolf, and you're listening to my new song, Before This Life Is Up, on iHeart Music.